I'm going to show you solutions to nonlinear equations that result for an adiabatic flash of a binary liquid. And so I'm going to use polymath to solve these equations. What I'm doing is repeating here the problem statement. The details of what equations we're using are developed in a separate screencast. What we're interested in here is how we'd write a polymath program. So we have a feed, binary mixture, ideal solution, liquid phase, we're given pressure and temperature, and we're going to flash it so no energy lost. V represents the moles of vapor, and we're going to use a basis of one mole in the feed. So we have one mole coming in, so this would be the fraction also that's vapor and the fraction that's liquid. Then we have mole fractions in the vapor phase, mole fractions in the liquid phase, and we have to determine the temperature where we have vapor-liquid equilibrium. So we're given Antoine's equations, heat capacities and heats of vaporization. We're assuming heat capacities and heats of vaporization are constant just to make the calculations simplified. And so now what I want to do is go to the polymath program, show you how we'd set this up. So here's the polymath program. And what we're doing, I've gone into program and selected the nonlinear equations. And then I typed in the solution. So I won't go into details using polymath because that's presented in other screencasts. And I'll just point out some important aspects of this calculation. So first thing, of course, remember that comments just have the numbers sign in front of them and they show up in a different color. But the way the nonlinear equation solver works is we write equations on the right side of the equal sign that we want to be equal to zero. And on the left side, we use f for function. And in parentheses, we indicate the variables we're solving for. So in this case, we're solving for the mole fraction of methanol in the liquid phase, mole fraction of ethanol in the liquid phase, the outlet temperature, the amount of liquid, where basis is one mole, and the amount of vapor. And this says, of course, the moles add to one. And then the mole fractions of methanol in the vapor phase and the mole fractions of ethanol in the vapor phase. To use the nonlinear equation solver, we have to make guesses. And so what I'm showing here are our initial guesses as to mole fractions, amount of liquid and vapor, and the temperature. And then next, for the energy balance, the energy balance equation is here, energy in equals energy out. And the various terms are all enthalpy relative to reference temperature. In this case, we use 298 Kelvin. Heat capacity times the mole fraction of methanol in the feed. And then the temperature inlet minus the reference temperature. Similar terms for energy leaving. And that's leaving in the liquid phase. And then energy leaving in the vapor phase likewise has heat capacity terms, but it also has the heat of vaporization. Assuming heat of vaporizations are independent of the temperature, I input the mole fraction of methanol in the feed, and this calculates the mole fraction of ethanol. Here are the two Antoine equations for saturation pressure. And something you note is that we're working in Kelvin, but the Antoine equations are in degrees centigrade. So we have to subtract 273 to use the Antoine equations. But that's a typical way Ant Antoine equations are given. And then we have a number of constants for the heat capacities and heat of vaporization. I misspoke. Our reference temperature is actually 300 Kelvin instead of 298. Here are the Antoine constants. And then our feed temperature our feed mole fraction, and our outlet pressure are things that are given. When we hit solve, and so let me go back and show you that. If we hit solve, it's going to bring up the solution where here are my guess values, and then here are the outlet values for 0.74 moles of liquid, temperature 365 Kelvin, and then the mole fractions vapor and liquid that are in equilibrium with each other. And it gives the value of all the variables that we use in the calculation. It shows the equations that we're solving for. 
the explicit equations that we input and all the constants. So solution's very quick. We can then now very easily change the outlet pressure, change the inlet composition or temperature and calculate new values.